This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Probably the most important piece of code you're ever going to want to need to know with VBA is the if statement. Everything you will do in your VBA involves making a decision, checking the value of something, and then processing dependent on that result. All of your if statements follow the same syntax. We have if, then the condition, then action to carry out. Comment that line out so the VBA itself doesn't complain. It's if, then the condition that you're trying to check, then action to carry out. Brackets are not an option, not compulsory, do not need them. It's the if and the then that are important. Now, on top of that, you then also have an else option. And then you can put further work to carry out. So that's if the condition is not met. So effectively, your condition, you're looking at checking something where the result of that check is either true or false. The result of your check has to return a Boolean value. And then we can go do this, then else. So let's see this in action in a little subroutine to say sub hello. What we're going to check is what time of the day it is. So if hour, which is a function of time, time's a built-in VBA function that returns the current time of the system, and hour returns the hour of that current time of the system. So if the hour is before 12, then we'll put a little message box out that effectively says good morning. Good morning, guy. If hour time is greater than or equal to 12 then we'll put a different message box out then message box good afternoon guy let's see if that works take the hello sub procedure down to the immediate window and return and it currently says good afternoon guy if i change the system clock so that we're now in the morning and come down here to immediate window and return it then says good morning guy that way, you know that it works. Now, instead of using two ifs as I've done here, so if our time is less than 12, the message box good morning guy. If our time is less than or equal to 12, the message box good afternoon guy. Really, this bit here is just the alternative to that because that statement has proved false. So why don't we take that and instead of having two if statements, put an else here and then put out that message box, which means I don't need that if. So I have a single if with a then and an else. If the statement proves to be true, we get this box. If the statement proves to be false, we get this box. So that will still run. Good afternoon, guy. By having one if statement with an else option. Now, if you are going to use if and then, or even if, then, and else, everything has to be on a single line, unless you use the end if. So if I were to take the same if statement and effectively after the then place a return in before the else place a return in after the else place a return and then right at the end put an end if then i have a if then end if statement and now i can use multiple lines so if it's for a quick checker condition then output something a single line is fine it saves you having to use the end if statement but if your set of statements is actually going to be quite complicated and a number of steps, then really this is the layout you're looking for. If condition, then new line, any number of lines that might take place if the condition is met, else, and then new line. And again, any number of lines could take place here in the else portion, but then an end if. So that effectively this whole little bit here acts as like a little mini routine on its own. We hit the outers of this little skeleton, and that's what decides which route to take once you're within the if statement. Do we go down the then portion, or do we go down the else portion?